Good evening everyone, time for another member update. We're going to start out with the weekly chart of the Chinese Yuan US dollar and you can see here that uh, it has broken through a significant support line. Uh, that was one I did not think it was going to break through. I thought it was going to bounce off. In fact, I thought that the original trend line was going to hold the one that brought us oh, about like this. But you can see it was clearly broken and the Chinese currency has lost quite a bit of value. Not that much. You can see 1660 down to 1439 uh, percentage wise. Not that much, but a significant move nonetheless. And what does that mean for the Chinese? Well, it means that their assets are depreciating. And it, combine that with the fact that the Chinese are already worried about the ability to get their money out of the country to keep their government from seizing their wealth to find some way to protect the wealth that they've built up um, we're seeing that reaction now in the Bitcoin market you can see here uh, the Huobi price chart has got uh, Bitcoin at 861 you can see that Bitfinex is following up here at 839 clearly a breakout 842 as the high uh, clearly a breakout from this, but it's clear that China is leading the way. It makes sense to me that the Chinese would be the leaders in this. They have the most money right now. That's where the world's money is flowing and their currency is rapidly depreciating. So is the same thing going to happen with gold and silver? Well, unfortunately, we don't really have uh, a good charts do gold and silver uh, in Chinese Yuan. I searched for those. I couldn't find any really good ones. It's unfortunate that we don't have that here. But uh, if we look, for example, at, let's say, gold priced in Australian dollars, uh, you can see that just looking at that chart, that, uh, and unfortunately that one doesn't go back as far, but you can see that it's hovering around uh, the old highs. So nothing like what we've seen in the US dollar. You can see that uh, the high that silver uh, gold made in Australian dollars back in 2011 when that top was put in was actually exceeded here. There's been a correction but very small correction. Uh, that's nothing compared to what we have in the gold price in the US dollar. So more of the gold price action can actually be attributed to the action of the US dollar than the action of gold if you just look at currencies around the world. But definitely uh, the Chinese are buying gold as well and uh, a chart of the gold chart in Chinese Yuan would show you the same sort of thing. Now it would be a very good time to buy if one believed that the dollar is overpriced because you're looking at an underpriced gold or silver especially and you're also looking at an overpriced dollar so these prices in the 15s for silver using these very very highly valued dollars which I think fundamentally it's just a it's absolutely wrong because the US is in horrible economic shape. But that's the scenario that we have, so it makes perfect sense that people would be buying uh, gold and silver with their overvalued dollars. But let's look at the conspiracy, and it's really, it's been admitted here. This is a kind of, a little bit of a article showing Turd Ferguson's frustration here on Silver Doctors. And uh, I just had my latest interview posted on Silver Doctors with Elijah. He's now working with them. You can see it on, uh, on the main site, or you can go over to Silver Doctors and listen to it as a podcast. But uh, here's Turt Ferguson on Silver Doctors, and you can see he's getting pretty frustrated with this manipulation. He's, it's called Just a Matter of Time Before the Entire Scheme Implodes. Silver Manipulation Continues in 2016. Instead, now that the world knows beyond a shadow of a doubt that digital gold and silver prices are wholly manipulated and suppressed by a group of collusive racketeering bullion banks, 
It's just a matter of time before the entire paper, de paper derivative pricing scheme implodes in spectacular fashion. Well, it appears that the things have stabilized this year post FOMC massive gold and silver raid. The only thing that remains to be seen is whether price can rebound somewhat into year end and hold on to a positive 2016. I wouldn't <laughs> bank on that. They love last minute smashdowns at the end of the year. They always have. So we wait and watch. Seriously, what else can we do? It has now been proven and admitted that teams of traders at the bullion banks actively collude to manage and manipulate price. And he gives a link over to uh, market manipulation chart. And it's obvious that the criminals are still at it when you examine the silver chart over the past 90 days. Three massive raids have been staged to inflict devastating technical damage. One, the first for a dollar nine took place on October 4th and it was designed to take out the 100 day moving average. Two, the second for a dollar 36 took place on November 11th and it was designed to take out the 200 day moving average. And third, the smash on Thursday for a dollar 26 was designed to take out the 500 day or 100 week moving average and you can see those. Pretty amazing. And there's the weekly candlesticks. Combined, those three days totaled $3.71 in losses, just those three days alone. Now consider the price closed at 18.87 on Monday, October 3rd, and it trades as I type at 16.07. So let's do some math while consulting the calendar. Over the past 53 trading days, the COMEX price of silver has fallen by $2.80 an ounce, However, as noted above, the price fell by $3.71 in just three days of massive and staged cartel bank rates. This means that for the other 50 days, the price is actually up 91 cents. Let's pause here and think about that for a few minutes. At the end of the day, it's getting increasingly difficult to work up the anger and frustration that used to flow so freely through my fingertips and into my MacBook. Instead, now that the world knows beyond a shadow of a doubt that digital gold and silver prices are wholly manipulated and suppressed by a group of collusive, racketeering bullion banks, it's just a matter of time before the entire paper derivative pricing scheme implodes in spectacular fashion. The only sensible response for anyone, anyone reading this is to use this knowledge to your advantage, then patiently wait out the process. I, for one, will simply continue to dollar cost average physical metal into my stack at a price which is entirely unrelated to true physical supply and demand. So long as the banks keep playing their paper games, I'll just keep on stacking in preparation for what's to come. And that's Turd Ferguson. So let's get uh, Wealth Watchman's take on this. He has an interesting view as well, talking about how they've been blatantly caught rigging the markets here these last few weeks have been kind of surreal haven't they i mean most of us know by now that the silver market is as real as a three dollar bill and that the game is rigged every moment of every day by commercial banks acting as proxies for central banks it's one thing however to know that in your head but it's quite another thing to see the nearly daily uh, info dump of WikiLeaks type stuff revealing these by the second uh, collusions by these banks. Now, first of all, we had the Deutsche Bank settlement where they admitted they'd help rig the silver market and settle to the tune of $60 million to come clean uh, in hopes of gaining some leniency. By the way, <laughs> $60 million is coffee money. It's couch cushion change for these, these, these people who routinely make 10 times that much in a nanosecond by rigging just simply the daily fix. But the info, the info and confession is the treasure trove that the authorities got. That's where the, the, the value is. Now, then we got the private email exchanges uh, about these banks, these traders, even from the May Day Massacre point in the month of May and in the month of June 2011. By the second stuff uh, between traders uh, of Deutsche Bank, HSBC, UBS, and a bunch of other winners. <laughs> Real sociopaths talking, 
laughing about how they dominated the silver market, how they were the silver market, high-fiving each other, congratulating the winners, even as their actions meant that hundreds of thousands of real people, real small-time investors were decapitated, were hosed, totally hammered. These people are the scum of the earth. And as we all know, they've continued doing that on up until the present day. It's the only way that silver isn't a three-digit dollar price already. Constant rigging. Now, we've seen the smoking gun, though, as to the proof of it. And by the way, I'm still waiting for apologies from all the dirtbags in the precious metal scene who denied the manipulation in the first place. All those shills, all those chart readers with their science, and oh no, 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 you know, the banks don't rig precious metals. Why, J.P. Morgan and Deutsche Bank are as pure as the freshly driven snow. <laughs> These price moves are only going down for years at a time because stackers just chose the wrong time to buy. Yeah, these people are scum too. Unequip Very good point. Uh, where are the admissions now that Deutsche Bank has come out and admitted that they rigged silver and they gave the goods on the other bullion banks that were doing that? Uh, where's the admission by all the people who poo-pooed this all of the years when we've talked about this rigging going on? They're, n they're nowhere to be found. And the other point he makes is that it's at the behest of the Federal Reserve. It's at the behest of the central banks that this rigging goes on. It's not a coincidence that the stuff that these traders are bragging about is crushing the price of silver. The first point is that the silver market is so tiny that there isn't enough money to be made in the silver market. If you're going to operate a criminal enterprise, uh, racketeering and all kinds of collusion to make money in markets, you're not going to pick a market that is that small. If you're going to risk jail time or whatever you're going to risk, apparently only very small fines, you would do it someplace where you could make a lot of money. The other point is that it's only to the downside. You notice that the manipulation is always to the downside. So that tells me, it's very clear to me, that the bullion banks, Deutsche Bank, and all of these actors, JP Morgan and all the rest, they have been gr given a green light right here. Janet Yellen, the Federal Reserve, They've been given a green light by the central bankers to do this manipulation. It's very clear. All you have to do is just read between the lines to see that. So a lot of people are incensed. Uh, a lot of people are vindicated. And it's important to point it out because a lot of us have talked about how these markets have been rigged for nearly a decade. And it has been denied for that long. And now that it's come out, we don't hear a lot of people talking about it. But uh, we do see some rumbling. And as I said before, with the Deutsche Bank fingering of these other players and absolving themselves and releasing this, uh, these, this bragging by these traders of smashing silver, it, it, I think there's more to come out of this. Now, I'm not one who banks on... Um, investigators or regulators or anything like that. I never thought that the Bart Shilton stuff was going to amount to anything. But this, I am about 50-50 be just because of the way it's gone down, that there's more to come. So we'll just have to wait and see. Back to the main story, the Chinese Yuan is showing us that the people in China are very worried about getting their money out of the country and the currency is weakening very rapidly. Um, I thought it would stop here. It looks like it's going to try to challenge all this, take back possibly everything all the way up to 8.3. That would be an incredible move and that would be a significant loss of wealth for the Chinese people. And I believe that's ultimately the reason we're seeing Bitcoin make a new high being led by the Chinese. Uh, they're seeing the writing on the wall. Gold and silver 
have been going up in various countries as those countries weaken around the world. Of course, the U.S. is the last man standing, but now we're starting to see the weakness come into the Chinese currency, and they're rushing into gold, silver, and Bitcoin. And we'll talk to you next time.